I'm going to demonstrate how the process of cellular mitosis proves that we live in a virtual reality simulation. First, let's take a look at what cellular mitosis is. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, mitosis is a fundamental process for life. During mitosis, a cell duplicates all of its contents, including its chromosomes, and splits to form two identical daughter cells. Because this process is so critical, the steps of mitosis are carefully controlled by a number of genes. When mitosis is not regulated correctly, health problems such as cancer can result. Here is an illustration from the page demonstrating how mitosis works. Next, let's take a look at actual mitosis footage. This was uploaded by Medical Research Community YouTube page in 2013 and shows the remarkable process. So let's look at that again. See how this is just basically calculation taking place. So here everything's one and then we can see it. If you just focus in on one of these you can tell. Then you see it just out of nowhere. Bloop, splits into two. See that? And then they scurry along their own to their own separate side and a barrier forms in the middle pretty remarkable process here's another here's another demonstration same thing there what begins as one magically splits into two so this is just looking at it, the same process just looking at it um, a little differently, or I guess through a different medium, there's a split. Splits in two. And then here's, here's another one that's a pretty interesting way to look at it as well. So as it gets nearing the place where it will split it oscillates um, and then all of a sudden it finally decides it has made all the proper calculations and splits in two and then the barrier or the splitter or what have you comes down and finalizes that so let's take a look at that again so it's together. All of a sudden, oof, goes its own way. So pretty remarkable process. And then you have the thing that comes from the top down to seal the deal, basically splits it off. And this is a process that is fundamental to uh, life itself, and it just occurs over and over again. I mean, these are all microscopic calculations that are occurring so it's a pretty remarkable process that is happening around us at all times now let's demonstrate how the process of cellular mitosis violates the laws of physics this article on boston university's website titled entropy and the second law outlines the second law of thermodynamics which states that the level of disorder in the universe is steadily increasing. Systems tend to move from ordered behavior to more random behavior. This is essentially saying that entropy, which the article defines as a measure of the level of disorder of a system, is always increasing. So an example of this is when you have a fully charged battery and don't use it, over time it loses its charge. When you have a cup of coffee and it sits out, it gets cold. If you have a house that you don't tend to, it decays, on and on and on. That 
over time, things deteriorate without maintenance, essentially. To show how mitosis violates the second law of thermodynamics, or entropy, we'll look at an article on the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health called Self-Organization and Entropy Reduction in a Living Cell. The conclusion of the paper is where it gets interesting and demonstrates that cells are essentially mini computers. It says it acts locally against the second law of thermodynamics by creating structural and functional order, indicating that it is thermodynamically analogous to the way a refrigerator works. However, a biological cell also processes information and engages in signaling, thereby actively performing computation. It is safe to say that living cells can be viewed as both micro factories and biological computers whose nanochips are the various proteins and peptides in addition to DNA and RNA. Most of the cell is what we would call hardware, while a small fraction is analogous to computer software. So basically this demonstrates that the world is a large quantum computer and for that to be possible we have to be living within a virtual reality simulation. Check out Tom Campbell's Big Theory of Everything, which clearly breaks this down. Check out my book, Simulation Secrets, which does the same.